Well, welcome through another game in the um, pro franchise. Um, just you're on the game again, and um, we're back with a game against um, Paddy um, Al Nino, as he's known. And um, coming into this, he's had a pretty good record. He's four and two. I I'm two and four. So another battle of the opposites, really. Um, got my season back on track last week, as some of you may have saw against Doc, and um, played reasonably well. Against Paddy today, maybe we're going to hope to um, change things up a bit. I mean, the one thing I've noticed with the Chiefs, I'm really worried to run on them. So, I mean, the, the linebackers are immense on this team. I mean, Justin Houston, I think he leads the league in sacks. And then you've got Temper Harley as well. And not to mention Dontari Poe in the, in the middle. It's kind of not going to be a way where I can usually probably try to get away with my usual play style of. Um, run up the gut. And then on the defensive side of the ball, we still don't have Donald Butler. So we've got Gakar and Tio as linebackers. And um, you know, the key today is really going to be contain Jamal Charles. I mean, it's a, it's a, it is a lot to do. He's very shifty and um, I'm sure Paddy, I mean, he, he, I saw the last game he played, he ran him really well. So um, we'll just probably, uh, what I've done is I've brought in Michael Floyd this week and um, we'll be hoping to play him a bit in the slot. Use a bit more of a high shot advantage. That's the thing I feel I've got with the Chargers. That I can get away with a bit of time um, with the receivers, and maybe I can use that to my advantage. We'll probably go for a more of a passing attack today, because yeah, I don't think his line, his cornerbacks, that great to contend with the passing attack. So we'll see how we go. But um, you know, we get started with this kick here, and um, straight away, you know, I'm just trying to contain the. I, I like to hover with the, lo the line and closest to the kicker and just hover back and make a decision. So first off on Jamal Charles, happy days. Now, I think it's a play action that got, got me beat there. Uh, great pass by Paddy Point in the open now. Again, contains Jamal Charles, keys to the game here. Yeah, so, um, this week, what have I been looking at? Really stop it, try to stop the run as much as I can. And, and try to force passes, because that's where I could my chances to win today. But, I don't know, you never know with Jamal Charles. And then, like I said, he goes ahead and launches something like that. Got all the block, it's probably not the best play for coming with the blitz up the middle. But, um, we'll see how we go. So, straight away with the kick off. See what we can get back on this one. So run out the middle. Oh, see that? Oh, out duked him. And um, while we need it, no, he rolls pretty damn quick. Yet yeah, he is quick. And ladies and gentlemen, he is going to go all the way to the house. I mean, it's a pretty big return. Um, well, that's the way to um, come back at someone who's just um, just giving up a touchdown to the kickoff return. It's the most deflating thing on, to be on the other side of. And jeez. A 20 yard drop back, oh. Well, you know, the pocket did close quite quickly on him, so can't blame him, I guess. But another great pass there to the tight end. I mean, I thought I had it covered. And you know, we were talking about earlier Jamal Charles, contain him, contain him, contain him. Well, I don't know what happened that time. They lost contain, and you get beat like that. We're only in the first quarter here. You know, this, could be a, this could be this offensive shooter I didn't really want to get into. And, oh, that's where those big receivers come in handy, I think. You're able to make passes like that. You probably usually not get away with. And wide open, the Darius screen drops a pass. Right, we need to um, think of something. Yep. Go back go back to the well. Go back to the well. Hit the Darius screen on the corner out. Yes, you may call me Sam Ransberg. It's the cheese and tight end a little bit there, but you know, I'll have that every day of the week. And um, try and run a little bit. Here I get, and that's exactly the reason why I didn't want to run too much today. So a third down, and look at that. I've basically, this is something I've been looking for in deep now. Looking two reads across the middle, and I was lucky that time, so I've been covered both down the zone. And yet again, Jamal Charles. Now, I, I'm thinking to myself, you know, I stopped the run really well early on, and now look at it. You know, big run after big run. You can't let this happen. So, you know, I start trying out a few things, you know, you've got to start maybe I'll start run committing or something. Find the idea. I find it works sometimes well. And then you know what? 
I almost get burnt there. Probably gonna give up a touchdown, maybe. And yep, I do, because they're blocking on the outside is amazing for these two. Um, the wide receivers are blocking well, I think he's really boosted with um, in the previous only probably this is run blocking quite well. Moving around in the pocket. Another another good thing, wide wide receivers being poor as they tackle these small DBs. Just keeping the plays going. So what are we looking for? Just checking down. You know, I've got to start thinking to myself, I can't, I can't get into the habit of throwing bad passes. Like, I, I found that one to be a pretty bad pass. Yeah, so... It's still only, it's just the end of the first there, and you know, it's 21-14. What a high scoring quarter. Not many of my games get this high scoring, so I mean, I'm kind of glad to still be in this at this stage because I feel I've given up some big plays on defense. I'm still in, still basically in touching distance. Get yeah, a nice lucky throw there to Keaton Allen. Let's see if we can with Matthews. No dice. For the second time, yep, we'll get in. Alright, so we, we need to get a stop. And finally, we're able to stop the stop foul. Can we stop him again? Well, it's not Charles, is it? Oh, it was Charles. Well, the blood comes in, the wrecking ball. And we can't stop that. It's quick handoff, really nice play for. So, screen. This time, I don't read the screen, I get burnt. It was a great time to call a screen, I feel, though. And, you know, if you're not going to cover Charles in the passing game, you probably deserve to run give up those yards. But this is what happens. Drop your car into a zone across the middle. It's probably the right read, because I covered the corner. Well, yeah, and um, the car, he, he's been a, a standing player this season. He's come in for Butler and he's played it immense. So, again, just shifting around. Ooh! Probably deserve to get picked there. Got a little bit, a little bit of luck finally on my side after the last few games of play this season. But um, let's keep it going. Bit of another lucky pass that was. That was a problem. I had my chance to really put this game on the kill, really, and I did not take advantage of it. Probably went a bit too conservative, I feel. I, I don't know what you guys feel, but I think the play call on maybe I should have been aggressive. So I read the screen this time of where it'll come across to make the play and again I spoke earlier about this blocking that he's got on the outside and it's crazy. You have to get a massive gain there on those screen. But yep, we're still getting those key stops here. We need we have got to hold into a field goal here, that's the goal. And we get a bit lucky there that he drops that pass. He's wide open as a good play by him. Right Checking down to the Darrow screen, we've got to get at least three here, I reckon. Probably had Ryan Matthews open, wasn't too keen on it. Because fumbles. Right. And up making the music catch and get pulled down for four finishes. And um, they decide, you know what, gonna have to punt this away, you know. Drops back, tries to point someone open, nothing open there. So good coverage from the Chargers defense, finally. Uh, passing the defense doesn't look too bad here. You know what though, I reckon I've got away with a bit of deep, um, defensive pass interference here. I think I was thinking to myself, it's going to be DPI in here, though. Alright, and um, that time he gets the old out of bounds, so I'm going to catch it too. So some bad pass by Rivers to start the drive. Make that two in a row. Um, however, this time was able to pick out the defense that time and took my time. Had some nice blocking as well. And Floyd is just being a monster on the field at the moment. I've lost to Nari Alexander to the at this point as well, but that injury got a bit earlier. So um, like I said, just try to make the game work for you here. Get Woodhead. Now, I've got. If you watch my last games, I'm thinking, you know what, you don't want to like throw a pick here. And I'm thinking, just getting the ball back is a, is a win. The going season is a win at this stage. And I think I made the right call by just drawing it. You could have ended up with a pick at that stage. It could have hurt a lot. But here we go. Point forward. Big game. 
four into half field. We need to get a touchdown here. Nice nifty draw play, and it gets me quite a few yards. Seven. Point Floyd, and I just I'm over halfway. Here we go. And then Point Green on a little check down. He's covering those nice the corners and everything really well. Yet again, trying to keep him honest, just running the ball. But here we go. Point the Royal on a lucky pass, but in typical fashion for my season. That is my season summed up in that play. Fumbling the ball. Uh, some may say I probably didn't deserve to complete that pass here, maybe. And then that is on me. I, I kind of probably playing a bit too aggressive. I thought the police was going to get in there. I sent a six man blitz, and um, it didn't get in there as quick as I thought it would. And um, that was all on me. Here we go. Fawn Phillips. Back to back. Back to back fumble. Well, now, I thought kickoff return touchdowns were in the neck and changes, but that is even worse. So I've given the ball again, good field position. He's up by seven. We need to, like, we need to get a stop here. Maybe we can get a pick, maybe we'll get it something. So, still contain Jamal Charles a lot better than his heart. Um, going down to third and three now because of it. And this is one thing that at the time just annoyed me. Got a great kick and the computer decides to take a meal with Jenkins. I wanted to run that out. Do, do I reckon I could have got back to six? Maybe, maybe not. So here we go again. Um, good coverage down the field, but luckily I point Floyd, I think that is again. And um, a nice game. Getting some nice, nice games here against the zone coverage he's going. There's a lot of man as well, it's a good mix up from Paddy here. And um, that's the reason why I don't want to run on this Chiefs team. And now that's just um, all Phil Rivers. You know, great pass, eight passes in a row now. <laughs> Although um, two of those passes result in fumble. Um, flash and fake. Got close there. Really need to get to the third down conversion here. And I get lucky. The key now, the break skip past one. He tries to hit the key, and I get into the, in the end zone. And a nice play. So, who would have thought after that start I've had, where I was giving up some good touchdowns, fourth quarter, just about, it's going to be 31 31. Especially after those uh, two, field, uh, two um, fumbles as well. Yet again, what I'm doing here on the run game is I'm um, just crashing the line in, spreading the linebackers out. Now, I, I I don't know what else I can say about that. Was it? I mean, I don't think Paddy meant to pass it there, but it's just one of those moments you feel okay. You're not meant to win this game. You've had two fumbles, one after the other, and you drop the pick with Weddles all playing. But um, we'll, we'll still try and hang in there. But yet yeah, he's calling some really good plays here. Lots of crossing routes. And you know, I thought I was containing the run perfectly. Yeah, it comes unstuck. And but it wasn't to Charles. So let's let's try it. we need to get a touchdown here, just a staying touch. And you find green up in the middle, just on a nice high low read, that's all I was looking for there. I find high low high low reads to be the most easiest play to make sometimes when you're in the situation. That's a massive sack by Danny DeVito. Um, I never saw the little guy coming. And, um, yeah. Yeah. That pick was um, retarded. But then again, I'm picking, you know, I'm probably not in the position to probably go for the fourth down. Down at 13, you need a proper prayer a little bit. Was it the wrong receiver? Should have gone outside probably and just got punched it back. But, um,. You know, the defense hasn't been playing too bad in the second half, but yeah, it was a little bit retarded. Again, just being able to shut down the run, why can't I do it earlier? I don't know. And I, I failed to cover that. Just, um, 
Yeah. Just starting to feel like I'm trying and contain a run and it's working, but we're still able to get those two, three yards and there we finally get that stop. He kicks a field goal. Now, not looking around. That time I passed A. And it just got led right outside. And you know what, ladies and gentlemen, that finishes the game. Right there, um, I mean, the scoreboard's going to say I lost, but I honestly feel like I played a lot better in this game than I have in the past few weeks. I mean, I was able to keep up with Paddy despite having to be up 200 odd yards on the ground and the two fumbles. I mean, it's, it's probably a positive, and I mean, Paddy, Paddy deserves a bit of credit here. I mean, he played um, some great defense when he needed to, and um, the offense really worked for him. I think, um, Next time, I think we need to focus. I need to focus more on running the ball a little bit more. It's just so hard to do when you, you know you're going to fumble this much. But um, I guess that's all for this week. Um, next week we've got um Rigler, the Raiders. Um, he hasn't had a good season to date, but you never know. The Raiders are a good Madden team that can always surprise you. But um, stay tuned. Um, like I said last time, subscribe to the channel and um, stay tuned for more updates. Um, till then, take care.